Oh, hi guys. It's me, Sarah. Back at it. Got home yesterday evening around five, six. Um, went and saw the dermatologist yesterday. Pretty much they still don't know what is causing my uncontrollable rash so far. Um, it's an acute illness, which means sudden onset of something that is severe, but not life-threatening. So I was able to use this program they have called Hospit Care. And it's where they basically... You're not discharged from the hospital. Everything stays intact. Your doctors, your access to um, the labs, everything you have as far as medication, everything. And actually, oh my goodness, so far it's been even more so because when I was at the hospital, you would get to see your nurse for maybe five minutes while she gave you something and then she left. Here, the nurses come. The nurse yesterday stayed with me for about an over an hour, hour and a half or so, going over everything that I needed to do, that she needed to give me and have done pretty amazing. So I have some um, medical equipment here. I have some boxes of medical stuff here. I have just like packages of medicine over here. But I also have this cool iPad that's from the hospital and the phone line. It dials straight to the nurse. So I can get them on the phone or get them on video chat with the press of a button. It's pretty amazing. Um, so we've been doing video calls with the doctor. They are keeping an eye on my rash, taking pictures daily, um, monitoring my blood still. My white blood cells are really low. My platelets are getting low. My magnesium is low, and my potassium is low. So I'm getting potassium pills today. Those are insane. They're big. So I have I have a I just got a delivery of medicine. I got some mouthwash because I have a sore starting in my mouth. So I'm getting that under control. So I have some mouthwash. I have a lot to steroid cream for this insane rash that's just all over my torso. My torso, my groin, my upper thigh, my back, my stomach, everywhere. Even my ears itch a little bit, but so far it's not on my legs, so that feels really good. Um, and I got some children's Benadryl, and I got some lidocaine cream. Ooh, lidocaine cream just makes you a little bit numb. So I am doing pretty good for this, whatever it is, this outbreak. Really, like I said, don't know what caused it, what's causing it, but they're suspicious that it could be a medication. So I don't have, I've never had an allergy before to anything. I've never had an allergy to anything at all. So it's definitely a new thing and uh, just trying to figure out what it is. So they doing lots of blood tests, lots of different um, cultures, 
cultures are kind of cool because what they do is they take your blood, a pretty big sample of your blood, and they let it like grow under certain conditions in the lab in those petri dishes. This is how I picture it. I have no idea. Um, so they have the petri dishes and they put your blood in there and they store it in a whatever temperature they need and they let it grow and they want to see if certain like bacterias or viruses grow in your blood. So I did a couple of different ones of those and after five days there was no growth it said. So that sounds like a good thing. That nothing's growing. But at the same time, that means I don't really know what's going on. And I'm just owing because I'm just itchy. Oh, it's constant. So, yeah, I just wanted to keep you updated on what it means to be, have hospital care at home. Um, my nurses have been amazing, wonderful ladies so far. They've been amazing, so helpful. They're just know their jobs and uh they work from different companies too actually not just like for kaiser um so it's these like little programs that are connected to hospitals and they provide services through for hospitals through these um little connected like arteries and veins and stuff and it's like pretty amazing. So I'm at home. I'm healing. I'm able to like keep an eye on Avery. I can, you know, go to my own bathroom. I can have food whenever I want, drink whenever I want. I can still get up and move around. I can watch TV or not, listen to music, keep it the temperature I want, all kinds of stuff. So it's been pretty amazing having this hospital care at home. So uh, you'll notice my hair is a little patchy because this is the stuff I was pulling out. See how it's just gone, 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 gone. And this is the stuff that I just cut with the razor blade. I didn't go to the the deep root. It'll fall out though. They're still falling out. It's just not as noticeable everywhere. Um, on my pillows, I was just leaving trails of hair and everything else. So finally got that squared away, and it looks pretty good. But now I got a lot of fuzz on me from everything because I'm like no crow so that's fun all right guys well I just wanted to update you on that um everything's intact here we're on a mission to get this this whatever is causing my body this inflammation to subside get past this so I can get chemo next week until then I'm just going to rest and take my medicine try to eat some food and I don't know what else there is to do whatever I can I know my eyebrows are I mean my eyelashes are coming out nope nice Okay, guys, that's enough for me. You guys take care. I'm peace out. Love and healing thoughts coming your way as well. All right, many blessings.